Today in our 2018 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be installing Eco Hitches, Class 3 2 inch trailer hitch receiver, part number 306 X7250. And this is what your hitch is going to look like when it's installed. The cross tube is going to be hidden mostly behind the bumper, so you'll really only be able to see the receiver tube here at the end. This is going to be a Class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver, so it's going to be great for all of your towing needs, whether it be for trailers, for bike racks, or cargo carriers. It uses a 5 8 hitch pin and clip. One's not included, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com with part number PC3. It features a vertical plate style safety chain loop. The larger opening will accommodate most safety chain sizes. It features a 500 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 5,000 pound gross towing capacity, and that's how much it can pull behind it. Now you do want to make sure that you check your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you're not going to exceed its towing capacities. And now I've got some measurements for you to assist when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 17 inches. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about 3 inches. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle underneath. And to make it easier, we've gone ahead and removed our spare tire. We're going to remove the plastic panels located at the bottom on both the driver and passenger side. On our passenger side here, we'll need to remove these bolts with a 10 millimeter socket and any plastic tabs with a flat bladed screwdriver or trim panel removal tool. And there's one more tucked up here by your muffler. And then you can pull your panel to the side, drop it down, and set it aside. Then on your driver's side, you're going to remove the three bolts located on the bottom and the two plastic nuts located on the side. Then again, use your flat bladed screwdriver or trim panel remover tool to remove the two push pins located on the bottom side. Remove the push pins from those small plastic L brackets located on both the driver and passenger side. We'll then be trimming off this tab, this tab, and this tab here. You can do that with a cutoff wheel, a razor knife, or a pair of tin snips. Remove both of the exhaust hanger bolts located here so we can lower it out of the way. Use a 12 millimeter socket to remove those. Then remove the two tow hook bolts here with a 17 millimeter socket. And then set your tow hook aside. Next, use a flat bladed screwdriver to remove the plastic caps from your frame rail. We're on the driver's side here. You'll need to remove both the lower ones and both on the side. On your passenger side, you only need to remove the side ones. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll lift our hitch into place, lining up the holes in the bottom of our hitch with the bottom of the frame. We'll then take the fine thread bolts in our kit, place on a lock washer, followed by two flat washers, and thread it into the weld nut on the bottom of the frame. Once you've got one started on each side, the hitch will hold itself into place, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. Install your other bottom bolts. Now tighten on your bolts with a 19 millimeter socket. Then torque your hardware to the specifications in your instructions. Next, we'll put on our side plates. Your driver's side side plate will be the shorter of the two when you hold them up side by side. Line up your driver's side plate with the weld nuts on the side of your frame. Again, we'll use the fine thread bolts, but this time only with just a lock washer and a flat washer. And thread that into each of the weld nuts on the side. Then take one of the coarse thread bolts, place on a flat washer, slide it through the plate and the hitch, and on the back side, Slide on a flat washer, followed by a lock washer, and a coarse thread nut. 
Once they're all in, tighten them down with a 19 millimeter socket and wrench and repeat the same process on the other side. Then torque all of your hardware using 19 millimeter sockets and wrenches to the specifications in your instructions. You can now reinstall your exhaust. Now you do have the option to reinstall your side panels or just leave them off. If you reinstall them, you will have to trim your panel to fit around your hitch. And if you removed your spare tire to get that extra room, go ahead and put that up now. Once your spare tire is back up, you're ready to hook up your trailer and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Eco Hitch's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Toyota Highlander.